This is Jason Mudd from Axia Public Relations bringing you your PR Hack of the Week. Whether you're a baseball fan or not, you may know that if you can bat what's called 300 or 30% of the time, you will make it into the Hall of Fame of baseball. Because in baseball, getting on base is pretty difficult to do. Uh, the pitcher is throwing a pitch and the batter is swinging and there's a field of players out there trying to catch the ball or throw that person out uh, if they can even make contact uh, with the ball uh, before they make it to first base. When you get to first base, that's called a hit. Well, in media relations, it's very similar. When you pitch a news outlet and they decide to run the story you pitch them, we in the business call that earned media coverage a hit. So your media relations professional is out there trying to get hits or trying to get media coverage. And a fun fact is that if you are getting your pitch covered 30% of the time or 33% of the time, you are what I would describe a Hall of Fame media relations professional or some might call a publicist. The truth is, though, that... In order to get a 33% average, that means for every three people or every 10 people you pitch, only three are going to cover the story. And let's be honest, if you're just sending out a mass pitch to say 10, 100, or even 1,000 newsroom contacts, and it's the same email pitch blast, the same blast pitch or spam, uh, you're probably going to see a much, much lower response, something below 10%, and maybe even as low as 0%. And that's because just like in baseball, you have to take some pitches. So sometimes there's pitches that come your way and you just don't swing at them. They're just not going to be a good fit. You know you're going to miss or get a strike or perhaps even not hit the ball where you want it to go. And so there's some discernment necessary and required in media relations where you really have to figure out what is the right outlet. And it's not just who it, what is the right outlet for your employer or your client or the executive you're trying to get quoted. The truth is, believe it or not, it's actually all about the audience. So do I have an audience that do I have a story to pitch an audience that would be interested in this topic? Is this topic newsworthy or noteworthy outside of the four walls of our organization? And the way you figure that out is who cares and why should they care and how does it help or impact or influence them? And the truth is if they don't care, then you don't have anything to pitch. You've got to turn that pitch around, not into what's uh, in the best interest and self-serving of the company, but instead what is in the best interest of serving the audience and how is your message going to help the audience? So with that, I would encourage you to consider uh, that, your media relations professional, if they're getting coverage one third of the time, you've got a hall of famer. If they're getting coverage 10% uh, of the time, that might be good enough. If they're getting coverage, you know, a single digit percentage or 1% or 0% of the time, they may need some additional training and coaching to develop their skills. And if that training and coaching and uh, sending them down to the minors or putting them in spring training doesn't seem to pay off, then it may be time to part ways with that media relations pro or more likely perhaps changing your expectations and helping them see, get more access to find good stories within your organization. Almost every organization is looking for media coverage. Not every organization has something interesting to share that they want to share. Uh, sometimes you've got to do a little digging and find some creative news stories or news angles or elements of news within your organization that would be appealing and interesting to other individuals and organizations. So for what it's worth, take that under consideration and ask yourself, are you a Hall of Fame media relations professional or does your skills need some off-season training and tuning? If so, come see us. We'd be happy to help you with that.